Okay, so just a little update. Um, I'm still, I got a writing video coming out this weekend, but I wanted to do this little update first. Uh, first of all, George of, of Shade Tree Fix It, uh, man, if you're watching this, uh, the 2007 HHR review is coming up for you. Um, unfortunately, we've had just three days of constant rain, so it's going to have to wait until the rain stops, unfortunately. So it will be coming out, I promise you that. See my little guardian bell? given to me by a friend. It's supposed to ward off, you know, potholes and speed bumps and jerks on the road. <laughs> um, so, just a couple updates. Uh, one, they found out what my wife's problem is. I can't remember the name. Basically, uh, they don't know why it happens to people, but it does. They put her on some medication. The uh, she's supposed to take it for a month and see if that solves it. For forty percent of the people who take this medicine, it does. For the other sixty percent, they have to stay on it indefinitely. The problem is, is it's stupid expensive. It's fifteen hundred dollars for a thirty-day supply. So we're hoping she's part of the forty percent. Uh, I did so thank you all for your your well wishes and prayers it was much appreciated especially the prayers yeah I'm that kind of guy um, uh, I got the job so I start October 3rd uh, so downside less time for YouTube videos upside <laughs> a paycheck <laughs> so that's good uh, I'm gonna be infrastructure manager reporting to the CEO it's going to be, uh, this is going to be their busiest time. It's a non-profit healthcare co-op company. And um, uh, the first month or two, um, it, I'm just going to be stupid busy. I'm not even sure how it's going to interfere with my uh, personal life yet at this point. The um, They're coming into their open enrollment season, so it's everybody's going to be busy and swamped. And as you can imagine, being a nonprofit, they're understaffed. So, so we'll see how that all works out. But yeah, so yay, job, you know. Um, so Sunday night, Monday morning, I'm coming out with a, a writing video, which I'm going to try and keep under ten minutes. Octane Moto, that's for you, <laughs> and for other people. I, I realize everybody's busy. You got a hundred, you know. 100 videos in your feed that you want to get to. So I am seriously trying to keep videos under 10 minutes. I, I'm going to do my level best. Um, <clears throat> so there's that. Um, the uh, then the giveaway, um, I'm, I've narrowed it down to a couple of different items. So uh, either Monday night or Tuesday morning, I'll put out a video about that. That's the video you'll comment on to enter. And it's basically going to be, be subscribed to my channel, comment on the video I post, and then uh, I'll give it two weeks and then do a drawing. Sorry it's taking so long, but there's a lot of things in, going on right now, and I'm just trying to <laughs> try to get everything done so that when I start October 3rd, I'm not distracted by things that have to be done here and elsewhere. So, next, uh, YouTube. So, they've come out with this thing called Uteros. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but it's going to affect everybody. Basically, they're recruiting a bunch of people to uh, moderate your channel, your comments, and your videos. Bottom line is, they have the ability. They will. Uh, they treat it like a game, and as these heroes do more things, they get more levels and unlock more uh, more deals. So, for example, uh, at some level, they'll be able to mass flag YouTube videos. At some level, they'll go in and be able to comment and or remove comments that they don't agree with, that they feel are offensive or um, don't feel are part of YouTube um, hierarchy, if you will. Um, and this kind of goes back to what I said before. It started with the mon with the monetization, right? Hit them in the pocketbook. When that doesn't work, you censor them outright. And that's what's happening here. Make no mistake about it. They're very vague in what they say. 
They're very vague on what is offensive, what is not advertiser friendly, and it's and this goes beyond just demonetizing the videos, right? They're going to be able to reach in and and remove any comments on your videos that they don't agree with. But they don't say what those guidelines are. And um, make no mistake about it, YouTube cares more about its ads than it does its creators. And that's why all of this is coming to a head now. is because up until now, at least on the surface, it seemed like they cared more about the creators than the ads. I get that they have to make money. I get that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But trying to turn this into an online Disney uh, sort of thing where it's just friendly for kids and that's it is really going to just kill YouTube. So if you swear on your videos, you might want to consider not doing that anymore. It's going to take a while for this to kick in and go. Right now it's just in, it's just starting. So by a year from now, I would expect it to be in full swing be my guess they're also starting something called youtube community so basically when you go to your youtube channel you go to any youtube channel you'll have all the you know the video subscriptions and whatever but there'll be another one called community it's basically going to be a facebook page for the uh, content creator of that uh, channel so that's a good thing so kind of end on a positive note there uh but if you haven't seen this video check it out you'll see what i'm when i'm talking about it um it's just YouTube trying to get rid of everything that isn't, you know, advertiser friendly. And that's because at this point they care more about the ads than they do the content creators. Having said that, I think they have to be careful. They will become the next MySpace. Because with sites like Minds.com and the couple other I mentioned, where they are so free speech and so anti-censorship... They've actually found other ways to monetize their sites and can let the content creators be themselves. And you get some of the guys, some of the big hitters, PewDiePie and the rest, Shaytards, if they move to Minds.com, for example, and take their audience with, you can bet YouTube will become a barren wasteland. Uh... Because it's not real hard if you're a company and you have a bunch of YouTube videos and you link them on your website. It's not real hard to change those links from YouTube.com to something like Minds.com, right? So, um, it's a slippery slope they're playing right now. And we'll see how that goes from there. Um, but that, that should be it. I, I just wanted to kind of get this up there, put a couple updates up, and mention this. Uh, so again, video coming out uh, Sunday night, Monday morning for the writing one. And then um, the giveaway will be shortly after that. So thanks, guys. Oh, and I did find out if you're wondering why you were subbed to somebody and all of a sudden you're not subbed to them anymore. It's because YouTube has been for probably almost a year now running a, um, a bot that goes out and tries to clean up uh, um, accounts that aren't used anymore accounts that are just spam things like that it's an admirable admirable thing and it's going to help better reflect actual real sub subscriber count and um uh engagement but it has some bugs because i've noticed uh just in the last week three or four youtubers that i followed um I no longer am following, and I didn't do that. I've been very, very careful about making sure I didn't accidentally unsubscribe to them. And last June, they reported there was a bug with it, and that they fixed the bug, but I don't think they have. So, just know that if you're unsubbed to somebody for some, and you're going, what the heck's going on? That's what it is. Alright, that's enough rambling. Talk to you later. Bye.